Hi everyone, I'm Irma and in this video I'll show you how to create your own exit intent pop-up in WordPress. First things first, to refresh your memory, let me remind you what an exit intent pop-up is exactly. Simply put, it is a pop-up that is displayed once a visitor tries to exit a page, just like this. These pop-ups are used to prevent the visitor to leave your site or to get contact information, or both. If you're here, you're obviously thinking of creating a pop-up with the help of WordPress. The thing about WordPress is that there are a lot of tools and plugins that can help you with that. But whichever you choose, consider these things. There are tools that might have a certain display limit and you wouldn't want for your pop-up to stop showing up if you've reached some sort of limit. Like with your website, I'm pretty sure everyone wants design freedom when it comes to pop-ups too. Some tools might not let you create the pop-ups that you've imagined or have seen online. And the last but not least, of course, is the price. There's no point in using a million different tools and overpaying if you can find the right tool that has everything you need in one. And that was my sneaky introduction to the Visual Composer pop-up builder. That is what I'll be using to create a pop-up for you today. So before we start, there are some things to get out of the way. First, there are no limits on the number of pop-ups you want to create. Second, Visual Composer gives you a total design freedom. And the third, the pop-up builder is included for everyone with a Visual Composer premium subscription. All right, now we're ready to start. The first thing to do is simply to download the pop-up builder add-on from the Visual Composer Hub, which is our cloud marketplace where you can download extra content and functionality. To download add-ons, simply open any page with Visual Composer Now open the Visual Composer Hub, here is the add-on section and you can find the pop-up builder. I've downloaded and installed it already, so we're ready to go. To start building your first pop-up, we'll have to go back to the dashboard and here on the left side menu under Visual Composer, you will find the pop-up builder section here. And to add a new one, simply click on Add you. Simple as that. First things first, choose a name. So this is going to be our exit intent pop-up. And let's start building. So as you can see from the first glance, if you've worked with Visual Composer before, the editor is exactly the same. Meaning that every single feature from Visual Composer you can add to your pop-up. Not necessary in most cases, but you can if you want to. So what a pop-up consists of? The root element is this container where we build the pop-up and put all our content in. So let me open up the edit window again. The first thing I want to do, I want to make it wider, let's say 600 pixels. So you can change the width of the um, pop-up container in pixels and in percentages, which is cool because then it will adjust to the screen size. Okay, next thing I think should be the background. You can change the background of the pop-up here if we scroll down at the design options and the background color. Let me choose this blue right here. All right, what, what we can see now is that the close icon is not visible very well and we can change that easily. Here are the settings for the close icon and let's just make it wide so it stands out more. All right, I think now we're ready to add some content. First thing I want to do is to add some text to this pop-up and you can do that here by clicking on this plus icon here and that automatically opens the element library. And let's add a text block. Okay. So I've got a text copied right now already. So let me paste it. Here we go. Okay, I want to make the text white. And as you can see, the tiny MC editor allows you to do almost anything with the text that you want. So starting from the color, 
Another neat thing actually about the Visual Composer is that there is a dark mode. If you use white text like this, it's not that um, convenient to change it. So here's the little toggle and dark mode changes all of that. Okay, now let me just simply change the font. All right, let's make this heading. And another cool thing you can do in Visual Composer is the inline editor, actually. It's, it makes editing text very simple. So let's just make this bold. Okay, and we're on the right track here. The next would be a button here. So let's add a simple button the same way, just clicking on the plus icon that will add the next element to the same column. And we've got a basic button here. All right, let's adjust the color so it fits a little better in the layout. And now the title color, let's choose the same one. And of course, change the text. Okay. Looks good, but there's only one thing that it needs at the moment, and it's a um, cool looking image. So you can add the image right below the text, or what I want to do is add it next to it on the right side. So what we can do now is change the row layout. So there's another column right next to it. So to do that, we'll have to open the row settings here, the edit window and scroll down to row layout and choose the layout with two equal columns. Simple as that. And now we can just add content to this, this uh, column. All right, so I'm going to add a single image, which is this one, and change it to an image of my own. This is the one that I want. And here we go. You know what? I think we're done. This is a very simple yet elegant, if I can say so myself, pop-up that you can use as an exit intent pop-up. So let's save it. And what I'll do now is show you how to trigger this exact pop-up on your site. You can do it in two ways. You can trigger this pop-up just for a specific page, meaning that if a visitor goes to any page, just one specific one, they will see this pop up. They try to exit. And you can also make this pop up a site wide thing when this exit intent pop up will show up on every single page. So to trigger the pop up on one specific page, again, you'll have to open the page you want the pop up to show up on, edit with Visual Composer. And now you'll have to open the sidewide settings here. And from the drop down, choose pop up. And as you can see here, you can specify some pop up settings. So for exit intent, here's the on exit intent uh, section, and choose the pop up we just made. Save. And let me show you how that looks. Let's view the page. That's a pretty page, but you know, I want to exit. Bam! That's our pop up. Simple as that. So, that's for one specific page. If you want the pop up to be shown across the whole site, there's a way to do that as well. So, let's go back to the dashboard. That is done through the Visual Composer settings here. Then go to pop up settings. And here you can also specify the exit intent pop-up. Save changes. And now when a visitor tries to leave any page, the exit intent pop-up we just created will show up. So I'm not gonna demonstrate, we just saw that. Okay, so these were the basics on creating a pop-up in WordPress with Visual Composer. I'm 100% sure that you won't have any difficulties following this tutorial and uh, we can't wait to see what kind of interesting pop-ups you come up with. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.